Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video is not for any type of vehicle, it's just for all vehicles in general. That if you want to remove the power steering pump, you gotta pull the pulley. And when you're in the wrecking yard, you don't have the proper tools, sometimes that can be a big problem. So in today's video, I got a special tool I bought about five years ago. Never used it, never even looked at it until recently, forgot I had it. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to set this up, we're going to see if we can pull this pulley off. Hopefully it will, because I hope it's not too seized. And then once I'm done doing the modification to the power steering pump reservoir for my LS swap in my 2003 Jeep TJ, we're going to put the pulley back on. So let's get started. So this is the kit right here, it's pretty inexpensive and cheap, about 30 bucks. But if you need it be way cheaper buying this than getting the dealership or the mechanic shop to do it so the parts that we're going to use to remove the pulley on mine we're going to use this one this one this setup right here and this these two attachments would work too depending on your power steering pump setup but here we go let's see if that sucker's going to come off or not it's probably on there pretty good now these clamshells are designed Similar to like pulling bearings off a differential, you got your narrow side right there, which will be, on my case, on the power steering pump, and then the wider side that's going to go along here. So basically, you want to set your depth so that they straddle in there. Take that piece, put it in the end, grab these and this. So I'm going to set that up, I want to get that, I want to grab this clamshell, turn it in, I'm going to turn it in even more yet, there we go. And then slide that over top like that. So now that I'm on, we're ready to pull it. What you gotta do is you gotta hold it with a wrench. Probably don't wanna brace it off the steering linkage because that won't be good there. So I'm probably gonna have to hold my hand, use an impact on the end here. Make sure you oil up the threads. And see they're gonna come or it's not. We're about to find out. Yeah, so just by watching from the video, I don't think you'd want to try to remove this with hand tools. He might be there for a long time. Um, even with the impact gun, I was hitting her for almost a minute before it came off. So now it's time to put the pulley back on. We're going to put it on almost reverse in how we took it off, but we're going to need... We need to determine which one of these ones we need because these are going to thread inside here and that's how we're going to get the pulley back on so in my situation the threads are all dirty inside so i'm going to chase them with a tap so i taped the shaft and then put a pair of vice grips on it and hopefully that won't damage it Give it a shot of WD. I run the tap through it again. So I'm gonna take this longer one and I'm just gonna thread it in a few threads. And I'm gonna take that. Grab my pulley as such, and then I'm gonna grab I'm gonna 
thread all this together tight. So I'm just gonna put some pressure on the pulley and then crank this on by hand. Once again, I find holding the pulley will prevent that center stud from popping out. I'm just checking my gaps as we go along. Now I hit the bottom of my thread, so I gotta change this one out and put the smaller one in. So you can see right there, I'm about halfway on. Just gonna give her a quick shot of spray. Help get her on the rest of the way, thread the smaller one on, put the tools back on. Checking my alignment right now. It looks like I'm pretty bang on. Backed her off and I'm right flush now. There you have it. This is the power steering puller installer kit. Pretty cheap, 20, 30 bucks. Leave a link to Amazon down below. This kit worked amazingly well. Now, however, installing the power steering pump pulley would have been easier if I could stick it in a vise to hold it steady or still, I should say, while I cranked it on but still able to do it by hand. And you can see right there, it is on. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. And I wanna thank you guys for watching.